Oh my gosh, I feel like it has been a minute since I picked up the vlogging camera. We are back in New York City, as you can see, and I've officially been home from Coachella for a week. And I decided that today's the day to pick up the vlogging camera and to get back into the groove of things. It is one o'clock and I shouldn't probably have any coffee, but I have an event tonight and I've been up for a long time and I only had one cup of coffee this morning. So I feel like, a second cup of coffee is in order, okay? And we're gonna do decaf from Nespresso. It's Altiso Decafeñato. I'm in rare form today. <laughs> I really don't know how people travel all the time. Like, I traveled for three weeks out of the last month, essentially, and I feel so out of sorts. Don't get me wrong, I had fun. I have like really been struggling to get back into a routine and I know one or two videos ago I talked about my morning routine and I already, it's already slipped. Although I have been doing a better job in the last week of prioritizing workouts and doing more self-care and less this on the computer. But yeah, I'm just going through this transformational in-between stage right now and just trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> That actually sounds way more serious than it is. And that makes me sound like I am slightly unhinged or unwell or something, but it's really not that serious. I had my cycle last week, which always throws me off hormones. They're a doozy. And then traveling for a collective amount of three weeks and just also shifting into a new season and my birthday's in a week and all these things that kind of just threw me out of my routine. And so the last week I have been cleaning out my closet and working on my spring slash summer wardrobe a little bit and getting caught up on emails and resting and going to workouts. I'm really proud of myself this week. I've gone to something every single day, which is great. That is something that I said I was going to do in my spring morning routine. And that's something that I've kept up with, which I am really proud of. I have not been doing a great job of prioritizing my morning practices. They have been getting done, just not in the morning, but I'm hoping to do a better job now that things are feeling slightly more settled. This is life though. It's a constant process of getting into routine, falling out of routine, finding a new routine, falling out of that routine. It's like, it's just an ever evolving practice. Anyway, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new, I'm Shayla. Also, can we talk about the fact that I have officially hit my one year anniversary of moving to New York? Is anyone else just blown away by that? It does not feel like a year. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe it. And like I said, my birthday is in a week from tomorrow, which is crazy. That year went by so fast. I'm gonna do my little coffee. And then I really wanna meal prep some stuff, actually. I ate out so much over the last month, like more than I would like to admit. And it's actually so true. Whatever you do repeatedly becomes habitual. The more I eat out, the more I want to eat out. The less I work out, the less I want to work out. The more I work out, the more I want to work out. And so it's all about finding momentum and creating momentum for yourself. I talked about this in a recent podcast episode, which if you didn't know, I have a podcast, the Yoga Inspired Life podcast, new episodes every Tuesday, but finding motivation and cultivating motivation is a process of taking action, whether it be big or small. And creating momentum for yourself so you can start to move and groove and get things going. So when I got home from my trip, I just felt so unmotivated, so out of routine, so all over the place. And what I've been focusing on over the past week and what I'm gonna focus on in this vlog too, is just making small shifts and commitments. So doing some sort of movement every day, which I've been doing, which we're gonna continue to do, and also eating more meals at home. So let's do some meal prep now. I wanna make some celery juice. I did do some meal prep yesterday, actually. Sorry, I made some veggie soup. The recipe for this is up on my blog, which you can find linked below. But today I want to make a batch of my kale detox salad. with all this stuff, stuff's up here. <laughs> And I want to do some of my black bean burgers, which the recipe for those are also up on my blog. So, they're all things I've made before on my channel. First things first, let's make some celery juice. Also, is anybody else watching Vanderpump Rules? I need to know. It is like a slow motion car wreck that I just cannot look away from. So juicy. 
you know, I'm not a big TV girl. I'm really not. I don't watch a lot of TV. I do like to watch a show when I'm eating dinner, but like otherwise I'm not like, oh my gosh, I have to see this episode of blah, blah, blah. I cannot stop watching Vanderpump Rules. Once again, I'm hooked. Anyway, okay, meal prep time. My camera is overheating. So annoying. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put you away for a minute, plug you in. <laughs> Let you charge a little, let you cool down. I'm gonna get this stuff prepped and then I'll just probably like insert clips of this little meal prep adventure I'm going on for the next couple hours. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. <laughs> Celery juice has been made. I'm gonna have a glass right now and we have some for the next few days. I do think I am going to make my kale detox salad, but I actually don't think I have time to make my black bean burgers today, which I'm really sad about because it's almost two now and I need to leave in like an hour to go run errands and then I have an event in the city. So yeah. I don't think I'm gonna get to my black bean burgers today because I have to roast the sweet potatoes. That kind of takes a long time. I don't know, let's just see. We'll see what we can get done. If we don't do it today, maybe we'll do it tomorrow. The recipe for my kale detox salad is up on my blog, which you can always find through my website, which is always linked in the description box. But I feel like I've gotten some questions lately. I've noticed comments asking about how I make the chickpeas because I air fry my chickpeas. I do two cans of chickpeas because I'm making a big batch for a couple of days. I'll drain them, rinse them, and then just toss them in rags, cayenne, and garlic powder, and that's it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about this kale because it feels really weirdly dry. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But another hot tip when you're using kale, at least the way I buy it, which is in this like pre-washed bag from Whole Foods, is I always take all of the stems out so that it's not hard to eat. And then I also massage the kale in a little bit of this Garlic Girl olive oil. This is my favorite oil to eat or cook with. I don't cook or eat a lot of oil. And I actually have a whole blog post on it if you wanna know why. But I do like to massage my kale in some organic cold pressed olive oil because it just softens it up. And this kale really needs it because it just feels extremely dry. I think I am actually also going to prepare myself a little bit for a late lunch. We've got cherry tomatoes, cucumber, bell pepper, and radish going in. And then the chickpeas. Voila, here is lunch for the next few days. I'm gonna cover this and put it in the fridge. Having some of the salad that I just made for a little lunch. And I basically put all of the black bean burger ingredients together except for the sweet potatoes that are roasting. Taking my vitamins, which I take in the afternoon because sometimes my stomach is really sensitive. So I just make sure that I eat. Yay, they're done. Pop them in this bowl. Really need to go right now, but I'm just gonna mash this up just a little bit. Let's go. Home from the event, obviously, which was so nice. I have actually known the founder and CEO of Coco Kind for like six or seven years, Priscilla. So it was so good to see her. We did a great yoga class. They sent me home with a little gift bag, which will open probably tomorrow because it's eight o'clock. It's time to make my black bean burgers and shower and wind down for the night.
gonna be a late dinner tonight, babe. <laughs> Not totally happy about that, but that's okay. They're going in. It is technically a hair washing day for me, but I don't think I wanna wash my hair right now because then I'm just gonna go to bed with it wet and then it'll be crazy tomorrow. And I kinda wanna try this hair oiling hack that I saw on TikTok. You essentially oil your hair like I've been doing once a week because I'm on my hair growth, hair rebuilding journey. This hair oiling hack thing is that you use your choice of oils. I use rosemary oil at the root and then I like grapeseed oil through the ends and then you massage it in. All of this is linked on my Amazon storefront, by the way. And then instead of just putting it on, you saran wrap your head. You wrap it on. And apparently the saran wrap allows the oil to penetrate deeper and there to like build heat and it's just like a deeper conditioning treatment. I don't know. We're gonna try it tonight and we'll see how it goes tomorrow morning when I wake up. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I was just thinking I have a workout, a really sweaty workout booked at 12.15. So I guess I'll just leave the oil in until after my workout. I don't really know what to do. I don't wanna wash my hair before Rise Nation, but anyway, that's a tomorrow problem. And then post shower, still have been loving the anti-aging body balm. And Osea just came up with a new body product that I am obsessed with, but I can't tell you about it because it's a secret. So anyway, yeah, I'm still loving these. I've been doing this when I shower like in the morning or if I'm just like vibing it, but I'm feeling like tonight's just an oil night. Let's just oil up from head to toe like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Except I don't like chicken, so no, no chicken. Just you get the vibe. It's nine o'clock and the bergs are finally done. Did have a little bit of soup, but I do want a patty. Ta-da! I still haven't oiled my hair yet. <laughs> Wanted to update you that I am getting back into a better night routine. I have been taking my liquid nighttime vitamins again, and I've been drinking a little bit of tart cherry juice because I saw on TikTok, I believe, this helps you get better sleep. So I'll just take a nice generous swig <laughs> of full of these. One of the perks of living alone. Before bed. I will say I have been sleeping pretty well. This is linked on my Amazon storefront, but the cherry juice I just got at Whole Foods. fountain with some fresh pineapple juice. I could use a little more hydration. I did not end up oiling my hair last night. <laughs> after I watched Vanderpump walk the dogs and cleaned up after dinner, I realized that I just really wanted to read my book and I also didn't want to get my pillows all oily because I have no idea how well that saran wrap thing was going to work. And I just thought, you know what, we'll just do it tomorrow. It just, I was so tired last night. I'm like, I cannot. Any possible fiascos, I just can't deal with it. I also decided to get a head start on my weekend reset tasks and just wash my bedding this morning. Kind of have a busy Sunday, so I just wanted to get ahead a little bit so that I don't feel like I'm behind over the weekend slash next week and such. Such a good combo. This morning's lineup. <laughs> Plus coffee, obviously, once my oat milk is done steaming. Me and all my drinks. <laughs> I wish I could say that this is all for show, but this is really me. And honestly, I would have a couple more beverages right now if I could. I just, I love beverages, what can I say? Some people might say this is excessive, but I don't really care. I wanna open this little goodie bag that I got at the Coco Kind event last night, which was actually such a fun event. I didn't even get to really tell you much about it because I was so hungry when I got home. I just had one thing on my mind, which was showering because I was super sweaty and eating. But it was for a really cool initiative about not using face altering filters on social media, which I actually already don't do. Pretty sure I've used like a few, a handful of times on TikTok, but I never use them on Instagram. But the event 
event and this initiative is about how the more all of us use face altering filters, you know, that change the shape of your nose or the shape of your eyes or your lips or whatever it might be, the worse the rest of us start to feel bad about ourselves and to agree to not use face altering filters. And again, that's something I already don't do because I think I look weird with them on. <laughs> But also like for me, I don't want people to meet me in real life and be like, you look so different than you do in your videos or on your Instagram. Like, um, I think that's really weird. So I already don't do that. And I would encourage you to do the same. Take the hashtag bold enough challenge. Oh my gosh, there's lots of little goodies in here. Also in a little Dagny Dover. I don't know what this is. Is this like a little makeup container? I'm not totally sure, but this is so cute. Yeah, it's a little makeup pouch. That's actually really nice. Coco Kine polypeptide cream. I actually have not tried this. My tried and true Coco Kine product that I absolutely love and use are these two products, which you can tell I use them a lot because the packaging is like rubbed off, <laughs> especially on this one. My matcha stick and the all for one balm. These two products are like my holy grail products, although I love everything that Coco Kine does, but I put the my matcha stick around my eyes, on my eyebrows, and I've been doing that for the longest time and I swear it's helped my eyebrows grow. And then the all for one balm, which you literally can't even read what this is, kind of reminds me of a like aquaphor type substance. And I essentially use it around my eyes and sometimes on my eyebrows as well, just for deep moisturization. And especially if my eyes get irritated because I do have really sensitive skin. So love these two things. I think all these things in here that they sent us home with, no, I've tried this before. Actually, I like this stuff too. Little toner, all these products though, other than this one are all new products for me. Oh, I've heard really good things about this. Ceramide barrier serum. I'm excited to try this. A little milk cleanser. SPF. Oh, and some other hydration packets that I've never tried. Cure. Pretty obsessed with my Peak BT Fountain hydration packets. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to be trying these. Maybe I'll give these to a friend, but maybe I should just try them for good measure. That was so nice of them. It's like an early birthday present. As far as today goes, I do have some work that I need to get done. And then actually one of my dearest friends that I've known for at least seven years, Vaughn is in town from LA. And we actually used to do bottle service together in Hollywood years ago. And she's one of the small handful of friends that I took away from that job because a lot of the people in that industry were extremely toxic, but she's always been such an amazing friend to me. And we're gonna hang out this weekend while she's in town. So I'm so excited to see her. She's coming with me to Rise Nation, which is funny because I used to drag her there with me back in the day in LA when I would go. So she told me when she was like, planning her trip, she's like, I wanna go to Rise Nation with you. I'm like, perfect, just like old times. So we're going to a workout and then her and I are going to dinner later on today as well, but we'll get to that later. Actually, wait, also I wanted to give you a little book update because I did finish Reckless Girls. This is the book that my friend Brooke loaned to me to read and I actually really liked it. I would give it like an eight out of 10. It wasn't my absolute favorite book I've ever read, but if you like thrillers and you are looking for something that's pretty enjoyable and fun as far as thrillers go to read, read, then I would recommend it. The next book, as you saw, that I started the night before last is this book in a New York minute. I don't really know too much about it. I just picked it because it's based in New York and it looked cute. Updates on this to come. I'm not far enough in to give you an actual proper update on it, but hopefully it's fun and cute. baby we're going to rise nation pray for us i hope i don't die my legs are so sore <laughs> we used to do it in la all the time I know. this is like a throwback Do this TikTok.
TikTok hair hack. Also, sorry if it's loud. I have my windows open, the dryer going. There's some background noise happening. That workout was so hard in a good way. And it was so fun to work out with Vaughn. And I'm actually meeting up with Vaughn for dinner and some sort of debauchery later, which I'm gonna make her fill you in. She's got like two double dates set up for us back to back. More on that later. I am putting rosemary oil at the root and they actually say you should dilute rosemary oil, which I am once I put the grapeseed oil in. I'm just gonna massage it with my little scalp massager, which feels so good. And yeah, we'll see how this plastic wrap works. I'm gonna leave it in while I get some work done this afternoon. We'll see how it goes. I have to be honest with you, I kind of feel like my hair is thinner after having COVID. Has anybody else had that or noticed that? Even my mom noticed actually. She was like, I feel like you have less hair. <laughs> and I swear it happened after COVID, which is so strange. I don't know if that's an actual thing or not, or if I'm making that up but it's really strange. I'm also taking Wellbell, but I feel like I haven't been consistent enough with it to be able to tell you whether it works or not. And I also have been using the Vegamore Grow Serum, but again, not consistent enough to tell you whether it's actually working. So along with getting back into my workout and healthy eating routine, I'm gonna really be more regimented with my hair serum and hair vitamins and stuff. And I will keep you posted on it. I'm just really gonna saturate my hair, I think, this. Now for the plastic wrap. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Gonna do a little black bean burger patty with some of the salad that I made yesterday for lunch. Hi, feel like I need you to explain what we're doing tonight. Vaughn set up two double dates back to back for us. We're back to back double dates. Uh, <laughs> one, I was just like, be like, saying like, one, I was like the classic actors. <laughs> it's literally it's literally like we're starring in our own episode or season of bachelorette tonight <laughs> we're going on a double date tonight and then we what are we doing i don't know maybe vlog after it we'll see what happens the whole experience. i know we're gonna well we're gonna have to vlog in between we might have to take a couple bathroom breaks and update the update the girls <laughs> Okay, get down early so we can go out. I know, I'm working on it. Okay. Love you. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a wild night. I feel like I just can feel it. <laughs> anyway, I need to keep working and then shower, walk the dogs and all that stuff and then um, get ready. Three hours later. Okay, dressed and ready and running a little bit late. <laughs> I had like a contract I needed to read through and I had to get it done. Here is the outfit of the night. Got my little faux leather trench from Zara. Cute little ruffle top that is slightly too big so I need to keep an eye on it. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into tonight. So funny, I told my mom and she was getting an absolute kick out of it. She's like, good for you girls. <laughs> <sighs> okay, still feel like my hair feels slightly oily, but there's not really anything I can do at this point, so let's go. Hi guys, we're on our first date. It's going amazing. How are we supposed to leave for a second? <laughs> I don't know. How I'm, I'm taking them to a little dive bar. I don't know. How are we supposed to leave for a second date? We we're, have to. We're leaving for the birthday party. It's fun. Twiggy! Hi, gorgeous girl. Hi. This is Vaughn's dog, Twiggy, who is actually Penny's OG BFF. <laughs> Remember we used to call them like half sisters? <laughs> oh, they really were. You guys. But they look so similar too. We're on our second day, guys. <laughs> I'm making my bestie shower. Oh, 
Okay, time for bed. Well, last night was very interesting. All of the guys were really nice. Ooh, excuse me, oh my gosh. I got home kind of late, got home at like, well, 45 or one, which I guess is not that late, but it's pretty late for me. All the guys were really nice. I just feel like I was on one page when I got there and everybody else was on another page. <laughs> and in particular, Vaughn, who I love so much, we were just on different pages. Like she had been out during the afternoon and like she's on vacation, you know, and she was celebrating and going out and having fun and, you know, just like on a different level than I was when I got there. I got there after like a full day of work. I got there a little bit later and I was just like still in my, I need to decompress and chill and unwind from work mode and she was like let's party and i was like whoa and i think when you're that far away from each other on like where you're at levels wise it's just impossible to try to catch up so anyway it was fun nothing exciting to report bless you and i tried to sleep in but of course here i am awake at the crack of dawn bless you i have sneezes today too because i probably left the window open all night maybe we had allergies i don't know Getting ready because I'm gonna go meet up with Vaughn, but I'm trying to decide which hat I wanna wear or if I would even wanna wear a hat at all. I feel like the green could be kind of cute. Or I did just get this bucket hat. I don't really think this is a bucket hat outfit. I think the green hat is actually cute. We're gonna walk around Brooklyn a little bit and I'm gonna bring the dogs too with me and Vaughn has her dog Twiggy, which should be fun. And I'll bring my little Claire V bag. Yeah, that's cute. All right. Arnold Palmer. Cheers. I haven't had one of these in so long. Here. <laughs> she had a little too much fun last I night, y'all. It's okay. It's okay. We love Hair you still. Dog. Hair of the dog. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> to the boy. <laughs> Yay. I love you. <laughs> so fun. They made me a little vegan pizza. That looks so yummy. Your pasta looks amazing to too. It is so amazingly beautiful out today. It's like 72, that was absolutely lovely. Did a little walk around, did a little shopping, coffee, and I totally forgot to vlog this, but I have had the same phone case on my phone for the longest time. Like anytime I get a new phone, even if I upgrade it and get a bigger phone, I will just rebuy the same case because I think it's so cute. It's linked on my Amazon storefront, has little stars. Evil Eye, love it, and we'll never stop loving it. However, I felt like it was time for a new case. I just unboxed it and put it on my phone. How cute is this? I love it! I feel like it's perfect for spring and summer. Also, I always get asked what this is. This is actually my house key. <laughs> it's so cute. It's linked on my Amazon storefront and I will also link it below. I am obsessed. Because we believe in balance around here, I just took a very luxurious bath <laughs> and I did order vegan cheesecake on Postmates. I had to do it. 
I had to do it. I know I didn't vlog my little self-care situation, but that's because my camera was charging. I have no idea if this is gonna be good or not, but we're gonna try it. Even if I just have a little nibble, you know? I wanna get up early tomorrow and shoot content, so I just wanna have an early night. It is like 8.45 right now. Let's see. That is pretty darn good, I'm not gonna lie. Between you and I, I'm not a big sweets person, so I'll probably just have one more bite and then pop it back in the fridge. <laughs> but it is my birthday week, you know? Tomorrow's Sunday and it begins my official birthday week, so. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. That's all I need right now. Just a couple bites. I would have more if I wanted more, but. Not a big sweets girly. Doing my little evening cocktail. Literally gonna get in bed and read my book and call it a night. Good morning. Going to add some ice to my water. There's nothing I love more than like crisp, chilled ice water. It's so refreshing. Going to take the dogs out on a little walk and then head down to the gym and shoot some content. I feel like I always get asked about how whenever I shoot in my gym, it's so empty and it's because I get up really early on the weekends when everyone's sleeping. <laughs> I just go at odd times, you know, either the middle of the day or super early on the weekend so that I don't have to dodge people when I'm trying to film. I do want to actually get a little workout in too. Just also want to shoot some reels content because since I've been out of town so much, I kind of like fell out of routine with filming and I miss it. And I'm feeling re-inspired to get back into the groove of creating again, short form content, so. Also, I feel like this is going to be a pretty long vlog, which should hopefully make some of you guys happy. I've been seeing a lot of comments asking me to do two videos a week again on YouTube and I'm just not ready to commit to that yet. I'm sorry, it's a lot of work. <laughs> and I'm already trying to juggle so many different things and I am still working on a very secret social project and I need time to do that as well as need time to do things like I did yesterday, like, you know, live and have fun a little bit. So for now, it's still gonna be one video a week, but I'm gonna try and do longer vlogs for you. So hopefully that will suffice for the time being. And I will say it does make me feel good knowing that you miss the two videos and hopefully I'll be able to get back there again. But for now, it's still gonna just be one video. Welcome to a little behind the scenes of shooting a fun little reel. I love the aesthetics of creating content. That's like my favorite thing. I'm a creative, I'm a very visual person. So this just brings me joy and I do it because it's fun. And I obviously love the color pink and I just decided to do like a little healthy lifestyle reel and I wanted to take a really beautiful video of lemon water. So I have this little carafe. I think I'm gonna reshoot this though now that I know exactly what I want. And I just set this whole little scene up over here because the lighting is just a little bit better on the side of my counter. And I get asked a lot about what I shoot my reels on and I literally just shoot on my iPhone and I use this tripod that I got 
on Amazon. It's linked on my Amazon storefront. Here is what we've got gone. I think I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's good. Cord. Perfect. I do use a big DSLR camera for a lot of my photos because I just love photography and I love the quality of the photos on this camera. I will link this camera below. It is a really big investment. One that I did not make until probably three or four years into creating content. Again though, that's just because I really enjoy photography and I knew that I would use it quite a bit and I love taking really professional photos. Rather than hiring a photographer because I love the entire process. Plus I love editing my own photos and stuff and it's just more fun that way. Got lots of variations. Love this. I also get asked a lot about whether or not I put filters on my reels that I post and how I edit them. I don't do any editing to the video. No color editing or filtering or anything like that. It's all just lighting. And as far as where or how I edit them, I use splice to cut up the clips and then I add text and Instagram. Pretty simple process. I think it all comes down to lighting though and having a style of filming. If that's helpful to any of you that are content creators, I've been doing this for seven years, you know, so there's been a lot of trial and error and finding my own personal style. So I think you just have to be willing to play around with it and test some different things out. That's my little mini reels tutorial. It is 2.30 now. And I actually have a call for the Yoga Inspired Life program. It's our final call of the current cycle, which is bittersweet. I have that at four o'clock. So I think what I'm gonna do now is take the dogs on a walk, call my mom and catch up with her, have some lunch, prepare for the call, and then I'll hop on Zoom at four and connect with the current cycle. I just can't even believe that it's already been 12 weeks. If you're not familiar, I have a 12 week yoga inspired self-discovery program called the Yoga Inspired Life. And I open the program a couple times a year. And what it is, is it's essentially a yoga inspired self-discovery program. It's self-development, manifestation, yoga philosophy, meditation, healthy routines, healthy lifestyle, finding your flow in life, stepping into your power. It is everything I did and still do when I'm in need of an up level in my life. And it's quite literally the blueprint for how I transformed my life seven years ago and created the life that I'm living now. I would get asked all the time about how I transformed my life. And I realized that I couldn't just put it in to words in a short DM. It was a lot more than that. And there was a process to it. And so I put it all into a program and created, I think there's like 75, maybe 80 gorgeous ebook style worksheets. There's guided meditations. There's exclusive yoga flows. There are three group coaching calls, or I like to call them community calls. And it's just a really special, amazing experience. And I'm just honored to be doing this work and sharing my process with people. And I've been thinking about reopening the program again since the current cycle is ending and I'm kind of thinking the end of May but I'm still undecided about the exact date so if you're interested in joining updates on that to come in the meantime you can click the link in the description box and check out the program page where you can learn more about the program and if you're interested in getting more info on the next cycle add yourself to the wait list and then once I get an idea of dates I'm gonna email the wait list very exciting stuff <laughs>